2.5c, add and subtract fractions with different large denominators. We may have to use prime factorization to find the least common denominator because the numbers may be too large to use mental math. To build up the least common denominator, we multiply by any missing factors. And remember, we will multiply that missing factor to both the numerator and the denominator. Let's look at example one. Here's example one, seven twenty-fourths plus eleven thirty-six. As you can see, the denominators are very large and it's hard to determine what the least common denominator is using mental math. Therefore, we will find the least common denominator using prime factorization. We start by factoring each of the two numbers, twenty-four and thirty-six. Twenty-four factors to two and twelve, two and six, and two and three. Thirty-six factors to two and eighteen, two and nine, and three and three. We find all of the prime numbers, and then we write out their prime factorizations, which is two to the third times three, and two squared times three squared. Remember, to find the least common multiple or least common denominator, we write each of the unique factors and then choose the highest exponent of each, which would mean that we'd have two to the third and three squared. We then must multiply this out, where two to the third is eight and three squared is nine, which gives us seventy-two as our least common denominator. It's sometimes hard to determine how we're going to get twenty-four to become seventy-two. So an easy way to determine this is to compare the least common denominator's prime factorization with that of the number. If we look, they both have two to the third, but the least common denominator has one extra three which means if we take seven twenty-fourths and we multiply both the numerator and denominator by three, we will get seventy-two for our denominator and twenty-one for our numerator. Let's see this again with the second fraction. We have eleven thirty-sixths and we have to figure out what we need to multiply it by to give us seventy-two. Once again, we look at the least common denominator's prime factorization and compare it to that of the numbers prime factorization. As you can see, there's one more two, but there's the same number of threes. That means we're missing a two in each. We now get twenty-two over seventy-two. As you can see, our denominators match, so we can now add. Twenty-one plus twenty-two is forty-three seventy seconds. Remember, when adding fractions, you do not change the denominators. Let's look at example two. Example two is five fifty-fourths minus seven ninetieths. Once again, our denominators do not match, so we must find the least common denominator and we'll do this using prime factorization. We have fifty-four and ninety. Fifty-four is two times twenty-seven, which is three times nine, which is three times three. And ninety is three times thirty, three times ten, and two times five. Writing out their prime factorizations, we have two times three to the third and two times three squared times five. Remember for our least common denominator, we write each of the unique factors or a two, a three, and a five, and then we pick those with the highest exponent. There's only one two, 
The highest exponent for threes is three and only one five. We now multiply these together. The two times the five is ten and three cubed is twenty-seven. So this means our least common denominator is two hundred and seventy. Once again, it is somewhat difficult to see how to make fifty-four into two hundred seventy. So let's first write down our fraction. Then let's look back at where fifty-four was at its prime factorization and see which numbers are missing to make it into the least common denominator. We both, they both have a two, they both have three threes, but it is missing a five, which means we need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by five. Next, we look at seven ninetieths. We see in the number ninety and we compare its prime factorization with the least common denominator. We see that they both have a two. It is missing one three and they both have a five, which means we need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the missing three. This now gives us twenty-five over two seventy minus twenty-one over two seventy. Twenty-five minus twenty-one is four over two hundred and seventy. Remember, you must always reduce your answers. Since both of these numbers are even, we know that they both can divide by two. This will give us two over one thirty-five, which is our final answer. Remember when adding and subtracting fractions, if their denominators do not match, you must find the least common denominator. To find the least common denominator of larger numbers, you must find the prime factorization of each number and then make the denominators match by multiplying them by their missing factors.